Dear friends of Switzerland, welcome back. It is April in Switzerland. We have passed the winter time. My hibernation is over. I was eating my Swiss breakfast this morning and I realized when I was looking out the window, this is such a typical April morning. So today I will explain to you what April is like April is the time when everything is born again. Okay, we have winter, we have four seasons in Switzerland, obviously. Uh, the it, spring starts in about the end of March, and this is where all the blossoms come out, all the trees grow their leaves again, and everything is really nice. But it is also a time where everything is still a bit changing, and winter sometimes comes back as well. So it happened that over maybe the last two weeks there was actually a lot of snowfalls the nights at the moment are still below the freezing point and the days aren't much better either but when you go outside the air is really really crisp it's really really nice april is also the month of the year where you can say that you have got four seasons in one day as well so it can snow in the morning and you can have a windy and beautiful sunset evening by a lake, for example, Lake Lucerne. What should you bring when you travel in April? You should bring maybe not your Arctic expedition coat, but something warm would be nice. Weather-wise, it can do everything you can imagine. And I'll show you right now. Why did I think this morning is such a typical April morning? Because of this, okay? It's the lights. Here, you can see it's cloudy. But you look over there, it's cloudy and then the sun pierces through okay and here blue sky and this is what it makes it special and it's usually got to do with the winds as well uh, at the moment we've got northerly wind which makes it a bit cold if you would like to know what these winds got to do in switzerland uh, what they can cause this video up here will help you obviously if you go to the alps there is still sometimes snow okay and it's the big meltdown as well uh, if you've watched ice age and you see all the animals like running really fast from the from the uh, snow breaking down this is exactly what it doesn't look like um, in switzerland in the mountains but it, it can be wet and fields there are really wet as well so maybe you cannot sit on them because they're really really drenched uh, with water sometimes you can still ski into april uh, usually the the ski resorts they open until easter and then they have a sort of a transition period where they clean everything up um, also you need to clean or they clean the the slopes because obviously people throw a lot of uh, rubbish all on the fields and these fields are used by cows in the summer to eat their grass you've got uh, not many events going on in switzerland in in april but in zurich there is called sechseleuten um, which is sort of a, um, a spring celebration <clears throat> with all the guilds from Zurich from back in the days where there is a pile of, of, of wood and on top they put a snowman which is filled with explosives, okay? And uh, this is lit at six o'clock um, in the night uh, on a Monday in April. Uh, you can look it up as well. And depending on how long it takes for the head to explode, then you know, or we know, what the summer is going to be like, okay? The longer the head takes to explode, the worse the summer is going to be. If you travel to April, it's a really, really, really nice period. And um, yeah, wish you all the best. Take care, see you soon. Bye-bye and tschüss.